So thank you for selecting this image. Uh, it's probably the greyest image that has ever been submitted to a CUED photo competition. Uh, but today I'm going to give you some of the colour about how we generated it, and I hope that you'll agree there's much more to it than first meets the eye. So the image was captured in National Grid's London Power Tunnels, which is a new network of electricity tunnels uh, due for completion in 2018. And the way that such tunnels are inspected for their structural health and performance often involves teams of manual inspectors walking up and down, taking notes and photographs. And this is obviously a very laborious task, and one which we thought we could try to automate using robotics and computer vision. So we developed here at the Department of Engineering this very low-cost robotic capture rig, uh, which uses two off-the-shelf DSLR cameras and synchronized LED lighting. And it travels up and down on a monorail beam, taking rings of photographs. So this is the sort of data set that we collected. Each of the panels is a 12 megapixel image. So it's very, very high resolution. And over two kilometers, we captured about 120,000 of these images. And the submission to the competition was all of that data combined into a 1.5 terapixel image from the start to two kilometers later. And the value of this data is enormous because using computer vision techniques, uh, because the photos are overlapping, between pairs of neighboring photos, we can triangulate uh, 3D points and recover some of the geometry of the tunnel and produce this sort of sparse 3D point cloud. And using this point cloud, we can then texture map uh, a surface. And this means that we can mosaic all of those 120,000 images into one giant image, which is very, very high resolution. And that means that the inspector, from the comfort of his office, can now look at the full uh, tunnel lining in all of its glory and even zoom in to very, very precise features, such as cracks here. And by taking multiple sets of the data over time, we can compare the data as it changes. So here we can see a crack being highlighted as it grows. So we think this is a very uh, valuable tool for the inspection of infrastructure. So finally, thank you very much to all of the wonderful team who are involved on this project. Uh, thank you to Toshiba Research for sponsoring my PhD and to National Grid for providing us uh, the access to the tunnel. Thank you for listening.